Hey everyone, this is gonna be a quick video. I just wanna show you how to install presets or LUTs into Lightroom if the files don't use the default import tool, which will just do it for you. And so this is gonna depend on where you get your presets from. Uh, I went to Victoria B Photo, who has tons of packs of these that you can get. And I picked up a couple that I thought looked good. And I've got them all in here. There's this natural pack that I'm gonna show you today. There's five in there. And so what do you do, right? You go to Lightroom, you've got this setup, and then your presets are down here. If you click into that, you can see the ones that Adobe ships with Lightroom, but I wanna add my own. So you would expect you go to file and then import profiles and presets. You go to downloads, LUTs, natural, and oh, I can't actually click those. Well, what if I just select the folder? Will it import them from the folder? Hmm, no. Okay, so what do I do? What you have to do is you actually have to import these as if they were photos themselves. And so we're gonna hit the plus, we're gonna go to desktop again, LUTs, natural, and now I can import them because they're DNGs, they're technically raw photos. So here they all are, there's five of them, I'm just gonna import. And now they're in my collection. And let me go back to see all photos, just so I see my photo there as well. And so I've got B natural one, two, three, four, five. And you can see they all look a little different based on the uh, settings. And so what do you do to get this into your presets? So I have the photo selected, I go back to my edit thing, hit presets, and then you can hit the three dots up here to say create preset. And so I'm gonna name this natural one, right? going to copy that for the next one. And then it's going to put it in user presets by default, but you can do a new group. I'm going to do B natural because that's what uh, it's called officially. Save it. And I can see it saved down there now. And you just go through all of them. It's kind of a pain. It's a little manual, um, but you kind of add them all as you go. And then once you're ready, you can kind of take a photo that you actually took and then just apply it. Right, and so there you go. So we're applying the filters to it. And you can, of course, see the edits over here. And just like any other LUT, um, you can be like, um, let's see, I wanna actually bring the whites up a little bit. I wanna see those be a little brighter, a little more contrast would be kind of cool. I've got kind of this garbage over there. So bring down the shadows, uh, you know, do all the things, crank up the clarity, obviously, yikes. Um, but you can, you know, you can tweak however you like <laughs> and then get a pretty good look. And you can see, of course, uh, before and after, and then this isn't quite right, obviously. I'm kind of just sliding things around for the fun of it. But yeah, that's how it works in Lightroom. This works on mobile as well. So if you import them into Lightroom from your mobile device, you can still hit those three dots in the in the corner of any photo and then you can add the preset and these sync across your devices. So that's really nice. And that's how you get them into Lightroom if they can't just be imported with the default tool.